Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Getting ready here to do your next 24 hours love reading. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please do hit the like, share, and subscribe button. And all the links that you need to contact me or uh, book a reading, follow me on Instagram. Everything is below the video, so go ahead and check that out. Okay, Virgo, so we're going to take a look at the past energy for you and someone that you may be connected with, the current energy here, and the future. Okay. Okay, bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Cups. So it's so a reconciliation, perhaps an apology. There is um, thinking about the good times, reminiscing about past positive memories, the emotional connection, um, time spent with somebody, um, perhaps reunion, a time when you were together or when you met or the first time you met or second or third or and so on. Um, could be thinking about bringing a gift or receiving a gift. Um, this is a card of innocence, okay? And it's a six, so it repre represents harmony, um, appreciation, loyalty, self-sacrifice, responsibility, okay? So that's the overall energy, Virgo. All right, let's take a look at the past. So past magician, the fool, and the four of wands. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now this, these could be reversed, okay? But I generally read for the person you might be connecting with or you're, you have in your mind or in your heart at this time. The magician energy in the past, if you're female dating a male, this person, maybe you called them your magic man. I heard that song, that old song from Heart. He's a magic man. I'm not gonna sing it because then you might click off the video. <laughs> But this is a manifestation. It's a one, a new beginning, an initiation, someone taking leadership, having the courage and willpower to manifest, you know, their cups, their swords, their pentacles, and their wands, you know, which represents, you know, an emotional, that's all the aces right there on the table. Um, the ace of cups of the emotional blessing. The ace of pentacles of the physical thing, like new career, job, you know, the, the Ace of Swords with like new ideas, overcoming uh, conflicts, having mental clarity. Um, and the Ace of Wands, like being inspired, okay, passionate. And it looks like somebody in your past either did or was willing to lay everything out on the table, okay? Take that risk and the Four of Wands to connect with you. Um, like the Four of Wands energy is like a reunion, a reconciliation. So perhaps in the past there was somebody whom you were connecting with or is in your heart where you guys, you know, this person traveled to see you or took some kind of, um, was hopeful about coming into union with you here. Marriage, commitment, family, meeting family, um, traveling home, inviting, uh, or going home, inviting, um, you or you inviting them to meet family members could have been a celebration or um, a wedding attendance at some type of um, celebratory gathering friends family let's take a look at the magician here okay the king of wands okay this very well could have been uh, someone with mars placement aries scorpio or Le or i almost said libra so for some libra uh, Sagittarius, Leo energy, okay? The King of Wands is bold and courageous, powerful, charming, okay? Um, there's also Gemini here, Aquarius. All right, so that sits in a position of a person who is like taking on the action of the King of Wands, you know, to just like get things started, try to manifest things with you. Okay, but the shadow said that's a devil card here, and I wanted to clarify. So there's uh, 
a, a bit of obsessiveness this person had for you or toward you in the past. Um, strong sexual attraction. Um, but there could have been like some um, blockages like addictions or greediness or envy, or like materialism, you know. Um, uh, obsessive, obsessive behaviors. Okay. Um, now it could have been a blockage or it's just how this person viewed you or how they were with you in the past. Now let's take a look at this fool. Why is this fool card here? Because the magician is here first. That's the one. And then the fool is after that. And I feel like this person was all ready to manifest something and then Perhaps they left, you know, maybe it came time for commitment of some sort or to get together. And then they said, nope, they turned around and went the other way. Okay. They, they backtracked to the zero. Yeah. There was a golden opportunity here for this person and, um, they didn't take it. I feel like your person, they saw it, but they went back to zero. They went back to, um, this person wanted to be free. Their freedom, it felt like it was more important to them. Yes, they did want to manifest with you. Yes, you know, they were, they, they were being um, very charming with you. But there might have been some toxicity to this person as well. Okay. Um, so I feel like it started. And then when the opportunity came to further the connection, um, they, they went the other way or they, or they chased after material things instead. So let's take a look at this four of wands. Okay. King of Pentacles. Yeah. Little did they know. I feel like they saw that they could have stability and even financial independence in a union with you or a family thing or whichever, but they want, they chose to be free and chase after that, you know, <laughs> that glimmering shiny object on the ground. Oh, what's this? Ooh, what's that? You know, there might've been a little bit of temptation, you know, this perhaps for them, even though they saw they could have it, it just wasn't enough for them. They wanted that big, that big pot of gold, that golden egg with the, with the devil card, I feel like there was like some temptation. This person has it in them to be tempted very easily by money or shiny things, whatever that means for you. Okay. I do feel like they did, they did definitely see that they could have this with you, but I feel like they didn't feel like they had enough. They would have had enough. They wanted more to be able to give or to present. Okay, current energy, four of pentacles, four of cups, ten of cups. This person right now does not want to let you go, but they, they're not opening their heart, okay? They don't want to let you go, and they're definitely holding on to whatever these shiny objects are that came to them, whether it's like a person, place, or a thing. It feels like... They're of two minds, you know, don't want to let you go, but don't want to open up. Okay. But then something happens here. You got the four of wands and the ten of cups here. Some kind of shift and change. We're going to see what's going on here. Let's look at the four of pentacles. Because the four of pentacles is like long-term security, you know. I do feel like this person presently was very focused on those shiny objects. That's like something, yeah. For them, it feels like that was something that they needed to do. You know, focus on the finances and the, you know, hold on to their money. But at the same time, um, there can be a, there was some kind of blockage about coming towards you, making this change, this transition. Material obsession. That's what I was feeling. Okay. Um, but I also feel like um, if you try to, if you try to walk away or move away from this relationship and try to, you know, presently get yourself out of this position, they will try to hold on to you, even though they know that it's probably the best thing for you to do. 
they don't they're not going to let you go virgo why is the four of cups here why is this you know they're unfulfilled emotionally so they fill themselves up with uh financially they filled themselves up with financially does that make sense they filled themselves up with the money that gives them um a sense of satisfaction but it's not emotionally satisfying for them yeah see the wheel of fortune does this person have a gambling problem it's like they put um they they deny love for money a career at work whatever it might be you know i just feel like there it's like they like wherever the wherever the buried treasure is they're going to go looking for that first it's just material obsession but also there's a turning point happening and that's why i was asking why is this ten of cups here something shifts and i think it's a realization that they've got to get out of this needing to hoard their money and make this transition to the end all be all with the ten of cups okay it doesn't have to be work i mean money it could be career their work or their finances just that seems to be taking priority but it feels like perhaps they in the past went after that and no matter how much they held on they never had enough they only had the four and they're missing their opportunity and the wheel is turning and there's a turning point happening presently here for them the opportunity because what's greater than money is love point blank period that true joy fulfillment and happiness right four of cups is unfulfillment ten of cups is total love and support and fulfillment family that's what they want yep that's where their peace is i feel like this person's having like gaining a new perspective on really what matters most let's take a look at this wheel of the year yeah look eight of pentacles they're coming to terms with like if they want that love or want to have that true love they're gonna to have to put effort in they're gonna to have to work really hard at that and i feel like this but they still have work is still seems to be like their finances and their career still is a priority for them okay what's the hangman hangman is piscean energy we have virgo taurus capricorn aries leo sagittarius aquarius scorpio okay let's take a look show me the hanged man okay four of cups again <laughs> your person has an issue with emotional availability they struggle with this but i feel like they're going to start putting an effort in and seeing that they, they look how he has his arms blocked you know when love is being given deny 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 but that that hanged man is giving them this thing where it's like and looking at their options looking at their choices and they're not emotionally satisfied with the choices they've made and i feel like they're taking a look at this because again that hangman energy is like getting a different perspective this person may have you know gone out into the world and left you or left the the love and just tried to do all the worldly things and the everyday things and and they were doing it alone they were left alone they chose to be alone they wanted their freedom but they weren't letting anybody else in i mean i feel like they're kind of looking like okay you know what's the point of having all this if i have no one to share it with where's the satisfaction in that and here they're coming towards you albeit slowly they want to share things with you <laughs> they want to share their money of course you know um you know this night they want to be reliable they want to work hard for your love and show you they want to win they want to win your heart there'll be communication 
how do I do that? I, I have these ideas, these plans. Look at this page. He is not fully grasping that pinnacle. That's floating in the air. So it's like all these concepts and ideas. I want to share these things with you. Okay. Share some news. Pinnacles always, you know, it relates to tangible things. Um, let's get clarity on the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, Eight of Cups. I feel like they're, they're going to reach out or they're going to tell you that, you know, why they retreated. You know, in the future, they're going to tell you why they pulled away. They look, they're going to come back with what they've accomplished and what they've earned and they want to show you. And if they've been separated from you now, going in the future, they'll be returning because the Eight of Cups is a temporary separation. They'll be coming back to show you what they've accrued in their life, maybe even offer an engagement or bring you a gift or ring. It's almost like they like left to go find their... It was emotional to them. It's almost as if they they were they left and they're returning to show you what they've discovered. They went on some kind of an adventure. What's the six of wands here for? Okay, the sun. Oh, positivity. Yes, they definitely want to win you back going forward. Material happiness. Material and work is very important to this person. They don't want to rely on family to support them. They wanted to go get it themselves. And I feel like they do get it and they get what they want, but then they're by themselves. And now they got to make this transition here to have you as well. If you want them back, of course. I just, I'm picking up like an explanation. That's Leo energy there. Or sharing with you why why they did what they did why they had to do that why they had to go off on their own look knight of pentacles again yep to show you that's a card of show that's show and tell page of pentacles is here okay yeah they want to share with you they don't want to be um, alone in this and i feel like that's the conversation that this person's going to have it could be a work partnership they want to work with you or share the wealth, share their plans and the things that they want to do going forward. I'm not seeing all the, you know, the cup energy is, you know, the fours and the eight, which is the separation. Okay. So there's a little, there's a little bit of, there's definitely passion and obsession, but there's a little bit of lacking um, the emotion and I think that that's one specific thing about your person is that there's an there's emotional unavailability. Although the Six of Cups is here, there may be an apology about this or, you know, coming in to connect with you. This is a card of innocence and sincerity. I do feel like your person does have genuine feelings for you, sincere feelings for you. Um, but I just kind of get a sense that they just, I don't know if they just don't have it in them to connect on that level. They're very um, career focused. Um, let's get a look at how this person feels for you, Virgo, what their, their emotions are. I don't have a lot showing up here. They appreciate you, definitely, and they wanna be loyal to you and responsible, especially as responsible. Maybe they were irresponsible in the past. I wish I had treated you better, they would tell you. You wanted love. They were off on an adventure. They wanted to go get their money or go get their, their wealth. Maybe they left you. They weren't ready for that. Or, you know, get their something. They were after that, you know, like I said, chasing that, chasing that waterfall, that song. Is that the song? Waterfalls from TLC. Just being near you is intoxicating. They would tell you, I feel you leaving me behind. Virgo, some of you probably... 
they it felt like they left you but they could feel you just standing there and just saying bye <laughs> you didn't chase after them or try to force them into anything you just bye <laughs> good luck the timing just wasn't right for us yeah this person was going after her. They were chasing after some kind of waterfall. I replay our conversations over and over. Yeah, they haven't stopped thinking about you, things that you both shared or conversations that you've had or the nicknames you had for each other, or the things you said to one another. My life is not as together as it seems. They're coming back like they went after that big pentacle and they're coming back with the small one, okay? But they want to share whatever they were able to get with you. I just get a sense that they weren't able to get what they wanted to get. They were able to get maybe a piece of it. But it's lonely out there. That fool card is all by himself. So they're coming back to say, hey, guess what? I wasn't able to do what I wanted to do and I'm sorry that I left you to, to go and, you know, maybe they went away to college or they took a job and relocated somewhere because it was better money. But it just seems like it didn't really, whatever they were going after didn't pan out the way they hoped. This person loves you unconditionally, Virgo. I want to be more than friends. So maybe you were friends they want more or maybe the relationship only got to a friendship place and now they want more i know that i crossed the line with you virgo this person for you that was a big line because they had to choose either you or their waterfalls and they chose their waterfalls and that hurt you because you feel like you're worth more than that. Because you know that you are. I know you know that you are. But you're patient and kind. And you want this person to be happy. And maybe you let them go to go do that. But they're out, they were out there by themselves. I know I messed up everything. I left you before you could leave me. Yeah, Virgo. You came closer than anyone. That's why they're coming back around, Virgo. You want them back? Take them back. If you don't want them back, then you don't want them back. It's truly up to you. Let's take a look here. I want to see what your angel wisdom messages are. It's interesting. Very interesting. They're coming back. It's definitely a Six of Cups. It's definitely a reunion. Ten of Pentacles, of course. Financial security for yourself and your family. That I do feel like that's what this person was doing. Going out into the world, not committing to you or being with you or whatever because they were seeking their own financial security. It, it was something to do with money. I feel like they had wishes and hopes and things that they wanted. But something about them needed to have this stability this financial stability inheritance or retirement peace and contentment in life honoring family traditions pride in the family tree passing on knowledge and that ten of pentacles is like leaving a legacy this person had nothing to offer you they didn't feel they had anything to offer you but it feels like to me you just wanted their love and kindness and that emotional bond and that connection and they wanted that too, but they weren't able to do that. They wanted to come in with something more stable. They might have been very unstable. There's a magician again. Magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a successful manifest. If you believe it, you can do it. Okay? This person is, is definitely your magic man. <laughs> That's what I'm going to title the video. And I know if you're a male listening, it's your magic female or whatever the energy is, you know, divine, masculine or feminine. But this person, they have that magician thing about them, you know, like they, they have to like 
make things happen in their life. It's a drive. Um, they have to turn their visions into reality. They're quite inspired, action-oriented. But then we have the nine of air, unfounded fear, expecting the worst, thus creating self-fulfilling prophecies, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the situation, sleepless nights, refocus your thoughts. Virgo, that's for you, okay? Because I know you're having some stressful nights or trouble sleeping or anxiety or a little depression or grief. Um, perhaps still in regard to what happened because you maybe you felt rejected but I feel like whatever happened whatever's going on you have to get some sleep some of you are just I just feel like you're drowning yourself in Netflix series to cope or you're just trying not to think about it, but it's beginning to affect you in your sleep, in your dreams, or you're, you're having maybe some negative thoughts, like expecting the worst that this person isn't going to return, or you know, or you maybe you're self-sabotaging by negative thinking. But I do feel like this person's going to return and try to make things right with you. Okay, Ace of Earth. Oh wow. This is the Ace of Pentacles. You know what? They were out there chasing some golden egg, and I feel like this person realizes that you're the golden egg. A windfall of abundance, good fortune. They, there may be like purchasing a home or a vehicle connected to this person, or they, they bring you some kind of gift of something, you know, um, tangible, valuable gift of some sort. Okay? Good fortune come back and tell you hey I went out looking for work and I got a new job and you know I'm coming back home or you know I'm gonna <laughs> could be moving relocating they got a new contract or something's going very well for them and they're coming back to share this with you give you a piece of the wealth <laughs> whatever it was that they went after um, Yeah, I mean, it just feels like this person, I forget what I was going to title this, but this person just put, they put all these worldly things in front of the relationship, you know? And like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm reading for what their energy is. And of course, you have free will. I, this is a general reading. You Obviously, if you listen to this, you, you do whatever you need to do or get counsel however you need to in regards to this, if it resonates and if this happens to you specifically. Um, but I'm just trying to pick up the energy and the messages for the person that you've been connecting with. Or if you understood what was going on and you're like, yeah, or you're not sure, this may be for you. So I'm going to leave it there for you, Virgo. I hope that that was helpful in some way. I wish you all the best. Please do hit subscribe and like on the video. I greatly appreciate it. And I will speak to you all soon. All right, take care.